Hello Assalamualaikum Ya kita jumpa lagi Hari apa? Hari Jumaat Hari yang berkah Alright The art of carving Okay before this Previously I teach you about The uh, Manuscript Yeah Creative process Before the COVID And the introduction of Islamic art Before that Alright so now we continue With the art of what carving Okay Another crucial and very important topic for this upcoming final assessment Guys, are you ready? Alright, before we start Okay, baca doa Jangan lupa hat dalam hati Okay, alright Open your heart, open your soul Jangan buka baju Alright, let's continue Ladies and gentlemen This is a selection of work Of the Islamic arts Which are using wood Kayu Nak cari kayu Nak cari kayu Tengok ah Daripada wording ni Daripada daripada the, the, From the, the, the cropping ah, Creates The shape of wording Allah And from this one It shows the Masjid Interesting It's very hard you know to do To do this ah. Yang ni pun ada bagi contoh Yang ni nampak orang bersemayang ha, Yang ni naik unta Alright, so for this topic I have divided into few chapter But you have to know For your assignment, for your essay You should conclude it into a few paragraph <laughs> Introduction, of course It consists of two marks The types of example Yes, you have provide, provide with example Technics patterns, roles and categories, and finally is your conclusion, your summary, your own summary based on the topic given. Okay, All right. The art of wood carving is a form of handicraft that has not existed in Malay society. Woodwork is a common as stone carving, sculpturing, and metal work. What separate one from the another is the method used. Yeah, when you want to carve on the stone and to the wood or to the metal, the technique used is different. Yeah, it's, the, it's not the same. The basic design principle of the government Malay company is called Awan Nara. The process the Malay uh, what the, the Malay people doing for the carving, that is what we call as Awan Nara. Okay, the technique is. Okay, although the term of Awanara can be translated literally as a stretching cloth, it is a metaphor for the flow of the dancer's hands of life and a nature. Uh, Carving are found not only in houses but also in palaces. And most madrasa work out instruments, furniture, carpentry tools, and many more. Uh, especially uh, on the other transportation as well, traditional boats, uh, and many more. Alright, before the coming of Islam, most of the Malay people, they are animism. Uh, they have no religion, they have no belief, they sembah apa je yang ada. With the so many influences from the outside, the environment become the influences for them to inspire them to do their, to, to inspire them to do their, their, their Wood carving, the design working on the wood carving. Okay, as you can see here. So their life is very traditional, which are based on the daily life concept of living. Uh, before the arrival of Islam, the motif applied for the wood carving is mostly uh, from flora and as well fauna. So there is no limitation for them during that particular time. As you can see here, this is a carving with a motif known as a lizard head placed at the kitchen racks or at the roof in base. This one. Huh? But, after the arrival of Islam, so they, they have to change the perspective of doing the wood carving. Okay, because from Islam, they understood there is no depiction beside 
the flora. If you want to do the fauna motif, make sure it is in the form of abstractions. So these are the concepts that they have to understand in order for them to continue of doing the wood carving. Alright? So the certain elements of the Hindu culture, uh, uh, the handicraft we had gone through into the indigenous Malay culture. Masih ada. Okay? How Islam reached here? Who were the missionaries who were responsible of the spread to the regions and how the process of Islamization really took place. So the process of Islamization of the Malay world has become a tribute to tireless effort of para ulama and the preachers who consequently shared the philosophy, form and content of the traditional Malay arts. As religious teacher and missionaries, they had brought the new faith of Islam to the island people preaching new concern about life and the idea of community living and social justice. By the 14th century, the Malay world was dotted with Islamic Malay Kingdom, Sultanate. Eh? The art of crime was given new attention during that time. Unsuitable elements which were contradict to the teaching of Islam were gradually discarded. No more the motif of animal motif. Eh? A good example, if they want, they still want to do any motif which are uh, inspired from the fauna, like the animal motif from the fauna or whatsoever, they have to undergo the, undergo the abstraction process, the creative process. So, as you can see here, there is much more evidence that shows there's still a good example from the uh, fauna motif, motif which have been simplified and undergone the process of creative, yeah? creative process. Like it take long time yeah? from the Greece Milan. Even though the carbon represents the dark, the images are incomplete. Yeah, dalam Islam tak boleh represent sama, sama, sama tak boleh. Everything is an illusion. Yeah, you tak boleh bagi nyawa. Okay, that is the concept in Islam. So if you want to do the fauna motif, make sure it's not complete or in the form of abstractions. Alright, so these are the shapes of the itik ulang petang motif. As you can see here, it still looks like itik, dark. Eh? Uh, but this one, bila lagi simple lagi, dia jadi macam Pac-Man. Penamanya Pac-Man tak pergi dia duduk dia, like this one. Alright, so patterns of traditional Malay wood carving. So they have few patterns. Yeah, they apply in the Malay wood carving activity. Okay, the first one is the thing on that. The first one is single pattern. How single lady? Ah, that's the idea. That's the nice one. Art. Okay, single pattern is also known as polo putu single. Yeah, it's motif executed in freestyle. Ah, satu je. One and one of the favorite choice is tempo magis. Yeah, macam ke dan sebagainya. Alright. Tengok contoh dia, ah, ini yang dikatakan sebagai single pattern One single pattern Okay, then they do it berulang-ulang Okay, next one is screen pattern yeah. Use simple element And this movement is less than the one This pattern is different with the previous one For the single pattern, only use one element But for the screen pattern, they use a multiple elements In one Frame. Alright, if the previous one, if you can see on the previous uh, slide for the single pattern, they only use uh, one motif with the repetition, uh, repetitive yeah? design motif. Huh? But this one is a combination of different elements, one frame, ni, ni dia panggil one frame, yeah? kemudian they duplicate to another frame, another frame towards the end. Okay? Same goes to this one. Okay, the purpose of the apni hole ni, ah hole ni is for the elevations. Yeah. Next one is complete pattern. For this one, the final pattern is more complicated. Yeah. Also known as the main pattern or polar indo. Yeah. It combines all elements 
and to form one complete pattern. And this one is uh, more, what we say is much more, they have uh, comprises of all different elements. Yeah? Incorporates with uh, roots, palms, branches, the fruit, flower bars, and many more. So, usually for the Malay design motif, they are using the awan narat motif to apply on the complete pattern. The concept for the awan narat motif, they have four elements, four rules govern under the awan narat motif, which is for they should have the ibu motif. Ibu motif should be in the center. You cannot put the ibu motif on the left or on the right. Should be in the center. Second, the elements of composition. Whatever they have in the left and right should be the same size. Uh, should be similar. Tak boleh lain. Yeah, sama. Everything is the same size. It's the elements of composition. Third. For the awal nara motif, they only allow you to use in the flora only. Flora motif only. You cannot apply apa ni, uh, other than that. Yeah? Right, same goes to this one. And the rest of it is a uh, branches. Yeah? And the punya crown, crown wang itu semua dah. Nanti practice, okay? Right. Next. Tadi pada pattern, now pada element pula, ya. Yeah? Okay, first is cosmic. Bila kita kata cosmic, we understand, well, this cosmic is something that have to do, have to do with the moon, star, clouds. Semua yang berada di atas. Ya, yeah? elements of cosmic. These elements are normally are combined with the element of flora and calligraphy. Ayat-ayat Al-Quran dan sebagainya. Okay, ini satu contoh, ini macam apa? Matahari kan? Okay, the second element is geometrical element. It encompasses with the different type of shapes of geometrical pattern. Yeah? Basically, it's a triangle arranged in a row, while sometimes they're trying to combine with runners of plants. So, this is the, the sample of the geometrical pattern. Okay, next is calligraphy elements. Okay, this one appear after the Malay word Islamized. But orang masa Islam belum buatlah calligraphy dan sebagainya. This element took the form of Arabic character verse from the Quran and local Arabic writing called Jawi. There are also combination of calligraphy, cosmic, and other elements. They are very suitable and useful for complete pattern. In Peninsula Malaysia, this kind of carving widely used in Terengganu and also Kelantan in their own houses. But these are the sample. As you can see here, they are using the complete pattern star. Okay, complete pattern star is like this one. Huh? With the branches of flower, this one also, they are using calligraphy as well. And this one too. Okay, floral element. Tadi kita ada calligraphy, kita ada cosmic. Okay, floral elements. This form is concentrated on the floral. Yeah, of course. You can see, you can read it from the names. And normally, creepy plants or flower producing of preferred. Plants have been a source of inspiration for the Malay carvers. Kalau tengok yang ini, yeah? see this design? This is what we call as the Frame pattern, okay. Frame pattern. Ini ni, apa ni? Frame pattern. How about this one? Complete pattern. So in conclusion, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, okay, Malay word carving is a reflection of Islamic philosophy. Okay. It is more than a simple set of rules governing the patterns and design of Malay artifacts. It's more than that. Yeah? The rules and the underlying ethical and aesthetic value of our art are passed by example and practice from one generation to another. So guys, again, we try to understand it. Okay, first we go for the introduction. 
Okay, before the arrival of Islam, most of the design motif applied is basically on the fauna motif. They apply in the traditional houses, palaces, music instrument, the, the transportation, the traditional transportation and boats and everything. All right, but after the arrival uh, arrival of Islam, everything is changed. Semua dah berubah, semua dah bertukar. Which they emphasize more on the content, which uh, is a reflection, is actually a reflections of the way of living as a Muslim. All right. So, if they want, still want to do the fauna, the animal as part of the design motif, they have to ensure that the motif in the abstraction form. All right. Besides like that, they can use the floral motif. Alright, then we go to another, another part, which is the patterns applied for the wood carving. Kita ada tiga, tiga eh? single pattern, complete pattern, and last one is a frame pattern. Okay, then we go to another part, which is the elements applied on the traditional wood carving, traditional Malay wood carving. Okay, first, the other cosmic. Cosmic is the application of the design motif of the sun, moon, star, and so on. Everything on the top lah. Apa lah? Atas ni. Langit. Pulang <laughs> bintang matahari. Okay. The second one is the <coughs> calligraphy motif. Okay. And the last one is the floral motif. And the last one is the calligraphy motif. And then, dah tengok dah babu dah. Floral, geometrical, calligraphy, and cosmic. Yay! Alright, so, that's all for the topic of work coming. Hope you enjoy. If you don't understand, don't hesitate to contact me through our WhatsApp group. Thank you and have a nice day. Take care.